Sight and Sound has been bringing the Bible to life on stage for 40 years. This is our 40th year. And we started uh, back in 1976 when uh, a dairy farmer who went from producing milk went to producing live stage shows. Uh, he's an entrepreneur and uh, he was a painter and an artist and, uh, and a, a devout follower of Jesus and wanted to combine all those things and, and really relive the Bible through art. And one thing led to another and before he knew it, he was out, out growing that small theater in Lancaster and he built a new theater uh, in the mid-90s and then uh, after a, a devastating fire built the Millennium Theater which is a 2,070 seat theater with a 300 foot wraparound stage a completely immersive experience with live animals, 60-plus professional actors. Um, and we then built a sister theater in Branson, Missouri that's just a little bit bigger than the one in Strasburg. So yearly, annually, we'll have between 800,000 and a million people come and see a sight and sound production. So it is something to behold. We're really excited about it. My goodness. And we want to, of course, provide our listeners with some information Absolutely. about sight and sound theaters, how they perhaps can engage and even do some vacation planning mm-hmm. for what a, one or both of those areas. In the future, you say sight and sound opened up in Lancaster 40 years ago. Correct. You've been with Sight and Sound for about 20 of those. Yeah, I have. Actually, it's been it's going on 21 years, which wow. is incredibly hard to believe. I met my wife there, and uh, it's been really, really good to me. It's, it's a place where um, there are 600 like-minded employees who bring their passions, their gifts, their talents, and abilities to bring the Bible to life on stage and off the stage through who we are and what we do. We build and design our own set pieces, and these set pieces are 40 feet high. And with a 300-foot wraparound stage, there are, in one, any given show, 60-plus set pieces. We have hundreds of live uh, and animatronic animals. And uh, it's what it is is it's a bigger-than-life, um, epic portrayal of these Bible stories. So people are transported back in time and are completely immersed in the stories a lot of which have been Old Testament stories that they've never really been able to relate to the hero of that particular story. And what Sight and Sound has been able to do is make these people uh, relevant to today, that people can walk out of the, the, the story of Moses, for example, and say, I never thought I could relate to Moses. But we show his flaws. We show that he was orphaned at age five. He had anger issues. Uh, he had an identity crisis at age 40. God found him, or he found God at the burning mm. bush. We can relate to that. Um, we can't always relate to Charlton Heston with the beautiful white hair and the, the windswept mountaintop, you know. But um, we are premiering Moses in Branson. It ran successfully in Strasburg. Uh, roughly 900,000 people had a chance to see it in Strasburg, which is Lancaster County. And then uh, I think we sent it on 65 semi-trucks oh, out to goodness. Branson. Yeah. And, uh, and it premieres here in uh, next week, actually. And I saw a rehearsal last week, and it's phenomenal. You're going to be very happy with it. When did you open up the Branson Theater? The Branson Theater, uh, around 2007, 2008, is when we um, opened that theater. And the first show that ran out there was Noah. Mm. That was the show that really put sight and sound on the map. Um, our entrepreneur, our founder, Glenn Eshelman, had a vision to uh, immerse the audience in the interior arc of Noah's story. So you are... The top of Act Two, you're literally surrounded by live and animatronic animals, like you're inside the ark. And for me, it's not just the spectacle that is what is so um, exciting to talk about with sight and sound. It's when the story meets that spectacle, and those two come together and collide, that people are really moved. Our heart is to move people's hearts towards truth through the power of story. And there's no greater story than God's story that's found in the Word of God.